So yeah, I, I was going to talk about test, but I decided that that was kind of boring. Um, I'm happy to talk your ear off about it in person, but I think a better lightning talk would be the work that I've been doing on Pub's version solver, which I think is really, really cool. So I don't know how many of you have used Pub before. It's uh, Dart's package manager. Um, way back in the day, uh, Bob and I worked on a version solver for it, which is the, the chunk of code that takes your set of dependencies declared in your Pub spec and looks up all of those packages, looks up all of their dependencies, and figures out a group of packages that satisfies every dependency in every transitive package while also ensuring that all of the root packages dependencies are satisfied. It turns out that this is a really hard problem. Um, those of you familiar with uh, uh, complexity theory might know it as NP hard. Um, those of you who are not, trust me, it's really, really hard. Um, we got a pretty decent solution working that's sort of based on a lot of what a lot of other package managers do. But one problem that many of you have probably run into is that the errors it reports are not very good. Kevin brought this up in his talk earlier. So my new algorithm is designed to solve that, and I think it does it in a pretty clever way. Uh, so instead of sort of thinking about it as just a list of package versions to try and thinking about hopping back to old versions that failed and trying different versions of those and trying different versions of all the other packages in case that changed something. The way it works now is it thinks about it in terms of facts about the world that it knows are true. So these are facts like, if you depend on package foo, then you must also depend on this version range of package bar. Or facts like package quux is incompatible with package quack. So you can take these uh, facts about the world, which you can start off by generating from the pub spec, and use a pretty straightforward process of uh, taking decisions you've already made about which packages to select, figuring out which packages are forced by that. Like, if you have package foo selected, that means that you definitely need at least this range of package bar. So eventually, you might run into a conflict because sometimes you're making decisions arbitrarily based on which package ranges are unsatisfied. The really clever thing about this new algorithm is when it encounters a conflict, it doesn't just go back to where the conflict happened and make a different decision. It actually looks at the facts that caused this conflict to happen and combines them using sophisticated logic programming um, <laughs> to come up with a new fact about the world that is sort of heuristically representing the root cause of that conflict. So for example, if you have package foo that depends on package bar, and package bar depends on package baz, and package baz doesn't match your current SDK constraints, it will actually be able to figure out, well, okay, package baz can't be selected. The reason we selected package baz was because bar depended on it. So bar can't be selected. The reason we selected bar was because foo depended on it. So foo can't be selected. And then it'll remember that this range of versions of foo can't be selected ever. And it won't ever try to select them again. The really cool thing about this, in addition to just making the version solving faster, is it takes the, uh, these facts, and if it runs into a conflict that can't be solved, where there are no more ver uh, versions of packages left to try, it can actually figure out, okay, why did this fact that says there are no possible versions that could ever solve this package graph, why was this fact generated? What two, pack two previous facts did we combine using sophisticated logic programming to create this new fact? Why did those facts exist? Why did those facts exist? And eventually, it'll get back to the dependencies that are declared in your pub spec. And it will be able to report that to you as just plain text and say, these are exactly the reasons why we couldn't find anything. So I'm hoping to release this in pub sometime this quarter. So keep an eye out.